Good morning, Purple Door Church. How are you today? It's Wednesday. You have made it to the middle of the week. I am praying for you. I pray that you have found peace and rest this week and that you have been focusing on Christ. How can we pray for you today? Share with us how you're doing. What are you doing today? Are you planting in the garden? Are you um, being creative? Are you reading a book? What are you doing? We would love to hear from you. Be sure to comment how we can pray for you. Um, be sure if you need support or if you need help in this season to reach out so we can help you um, and come alongside of you. We want to be able to be in um, constant fellowship with all of you and support you however we can. This morning, I want to share a few announcements. As a reminder, um, we are continuing to do family ministry and working with our kiddos. Um, and so on Wednesdays, we do our Zoom for our merch. Um, if your kiddos haven't been joining that, they're welcome to. Um, we're continuing to do Sunday school and youth group and just having a lot of fun with our students in this way. So um, if, you, if you have children or no children who aren't connected, make sure you let me know so we can get them added into our groups. We have asked for um, our children to take a picture of themselves holding a sign that says, this is my story. So if your kiddos haven't done that yet, um, I would love to have those. And um, we're gonna be using that as a special thing on Youth Sunday. So we're excited about that. And I ask that you all be praying for our students as they prepare for Youth Sunday in this season. On Friday, if you were with me, um, I shared a little bit about anxiety and depression. And I wanna just go, um, maybe just a couple times and share some of the things that scripture says with us, uh, shares with us about what we can do when we are having an anxious heart or what we can do when we're feeling overwhelmed. Um, I know it's not a quick fix, but I know that those words can give you comfort. And so I want to share some of that with you today. I find it interesting in this book, the Bible that I'm reading from today, if you can see it, I don't know. Um, I'm reading from chapter six. It says the cure for anxiety. Um, and I found that heading to be very fitting for what the verses say. So if you'd like to read with me today, I'm reading Matthew 6, verses 25 through 34. It says, therefore, I tell you, don't worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink or about your body, what you will wear. Isn't life more than food in the body, more than clothing? Consider the birds of the sky. They don't sow or reap or gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Aren't you worth more than they? Can any of you add one moment to his lifespan by worrying? And why do you worry about clothes? Observe how the wild flowers of the field grow. They don't labor or spin thread. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was adored like one of these. If that's how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and thrown into the furnace tomorrow, won't he do much more for you, you of little faith? So don't worry saying, what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear? For the Gentiles are eagerly seek all these things and your heavenly father knows that you need them. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be provided for you. Therefore, don't worry about tomorrow, because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So that was Matthew 6, verses 25 through 34. I want to read verse 34, though, um, from the Message Bible. Um, I like having the Message Bible as an option to just read through and see how it's spoken in a different way. And it says this. Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now and don't get worked up, worked up about what they may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard things come when time comes. I, I like that version. I like the way it spells it out in a different approach. I like that way. Um, it gives us a little bit more of a focus. Now, when I read these scriptures, I don't want to say that... Um, it's not okay to plan. Um, so what is important for us to focus on is the difference between a planner and a worrier. Um, and that's what this scripture is getting at. If we like to plan where we're going on vacation or plan um, what we might do with our family, those are great things. It's good to do that. 
But when we spend more time worrying about planning those things, that's when it becomes a, an issue. That's when it becomes those anxious thoughts and that's when it becomes overwhelming. So when I read that verse, um, I want to ask that question of what will we miss or what have we missed? If we are worrying so much about tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next month and the next year, what have we missed? And what will we continue to miss if that's where our focus is? We have to be really intentional, intentional about living in today, on focusing on today, on seeing what God is doing in today. So what is God doing today? What is God doing today in your life? What are those things that maybe you just need to sit and rest in and, and find peace in that he is doing? I was talking with someone yesterday and we were talking about um, just the overwhelmingness of some days and how some days are hard and some of the days are full of struggle. And yet the blessings are far greater. They're far more. And we only are able to focus on those blessings if we're acknowledging them, if we're spending time in the moment and seeing what God is doing. So we often think about God's plan for our future, right? We often think about what he is doing and how he is moving and what he's calling us to and what are our gifts and what are our passions. And those are all wonderful things. But we have to make sure that we remember that he has a purpose for today. He has a purpose for us today, not just in our future, not just in the plan he has for us, not just in all of those days coming, but he has a purpose for us today. So what is his purpose for you today? We have to remember that we shouldn't get caught up in the preparations. We should get caught up in those things that are blessings to us today. So think about that. Think about how God has shown you blessings today. And as you go out throughout this day, focus on those blessings. Look for those blessings. See what he is doing in those moments. Yes, tomorrow will come. Yes, the next days will come. But God is doing something great today. You know, if someone deals with anxiety or, or depression or any of those types of things, they often focus on a couple of things. They focus on the past. They focus on struggles. They focus on failures. They focus on things that um, have already gone and they focus on the future. They focus on what they have to do, what they have to accomplish, how they need to be. They focus on those things. But what this scripture is telling us in order to not have those anxious thoughts and in order to not have those extra added emotions, let's just take a break and focus on today. So that's my challenge to you today. Focus on today. What are your blessings today? Share those with us. What has already happened? And as this day goes on, I encourage you to share your blessings with us as well. Because God has amazing things planned for today. Yes, he, there was things that happened. Yes, there are things to come. But today, he has amazing things planned for you. Would you pray with me? God, we come to you with grateful hearts. We come to you in, in thankfulness of all that you have done. God, we ask that you be with us and remind us to focus in on what you're doing today. God, continue to show us the blessings that we do have, even in the midst of the chaos, even in the midst of the unknown, even in the midst of everything that is going on. Show us the blessings of today. God, help us to see your presence in the midst of today. Help us to see what you are doing today. God, because we can plan as much as we want, but there is purpose in today. God, we're grateful for who you are and what you do. God, we're grateful for your love for us, and we are grateful for your presence in our life. God, help us to focus on you today. We just pray all these things in your name. Amen. As we started this season and gathered together via Facebook and different mediums, we began to say that what was most important in this season was to continue your growth, continue your focus on him, continue those things that draw you near to him. And the best way to do that today is focus on him today, in this moment. See those blessings in today of what God is doing in your life. We're praying for you. We love you guys. We're here to support you however we can. We would love for you to share your prayer requests or just reach out to us if we can come alongside of you. Remember, we're here every day at 11. 
We're excited to come together for worship on Sunday. But until then, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.